Hey everybody, Kelly Ritchie here. In the last video we looked at pentatonics, what they are and how to play them. I showed you how most people break the pentatonics down into five fingerings and how I use two of those fingerings and expand them in a way that you can play the pentatonics all over the neck of the guitar using your first and third fingers only for power and for speed. Now, if you haven't seen that video, please check that out. I put the link in the description below. So now let's dig deeper. So in this video, I'm gonna break the pentatonics down even further into one five note pattern, pentatonic, that's what it is, but I'm gonna show you one pattern that's repeated over the entire neck. So any lick that you learn, you can play it in each and every place that that pattern is on the guitar, and it's everywhere. So let me show you what I'm talking about. In the key of A, our root six A minor pentatonic could be expanded root six and then I have another A minor pentatonic root five and it can be expanded that looks like this Now, there is a five note pattern that repeats itself three times in your root six, and it looks like this. One more time. That same pattern repeats itself twice in our root five. And it looks like this. One more time. So here they are again in their entirety. My root six and my root five positions. take the very first pattern and just make up a riff. Now I'm going to play it in all of these. So see how you can just take one idea and play it in all five places? Now, did you notice how I added one note? That's called the blue note. That's the flat five. So by learning the overall map that we covered in the last video, to break it down even further and seeing how that's the root, that's the root, that's the root, that's the root, that's the root. This allows you to take the five notes of the pentatonic in each area any lick that you play 
can be played in all of the areas. Now you'll find that some areas are better suited for certain licks, all right? Um, once you start bending strings, you're not gonna bend strings down here, but you can add vibrato. So as you move those licks throughout the terrain of the guitar, the guitar will dictate what areas um, you know, allow you to do what with each lick. So if I take a lick like, uh, I'm not gonna wanna bend that, but I can play that note there. Both of those areas are good areas to bend. You can do that, but I might use that half note, that blue note, by just sliding up, but look at where to bend and where not to bend on the guitar. When I have students that start playing lead and they start experimenting with bends, they'll just bend a note at random places and it really doesn't work that way. So if you can see the pentatonics throughout the neck or look at a chart so you can see them, you're going to find that there are notes, especially on the high three strings, those are the strings that most bends happen. One, you're bending up. When you get on your bass strings, bending up, you start running out of neck of the guitar to bend to. Bends, for the most part, happen on our first, second, and third strings. I mean, face it, when we get up to these top strings, we start running out of neck to bend to, and the strings are fatter, and it's just best suited on these higher strings. So if I'm in the key of A, in this pattern, on the top three strings, the next note is a whole step up. Now, if I go up to my A, that's root five on the 12th fret, and I expand it, now, the top two strings, that's a whole step higher. That's a whole step higher. That's a step and a half. So if you play from this root five minor pentatonic, which is the same thing as the fourth position when you break it up into five sections, but when you play up here, in order to bend this third string, you'd have to bend it a step and a half. That's really hard. And it, I mean, if I'm really playing and I wanna do something that's just like, just rot with emotion, I might go for something like that, but it is not a stock lick that I'm ever gonna play. I'll play, you know, where I bend up a whole step. That's just a real stretch to go up a step and a half. So in your root six minor pentatonic, you can bend your top three strings, a whole step, and in your root five minor pentatonic, you can bend your top two strings up a whole step, all right? Now there's one other really good place to bend to where it's really like almost a whine or a cry. Now that's a whole step. Um, 
That's a half step. That's a whole step. That's your blue note. Your flat five. A whole step. So if you're on an acoustic guitar, instead of bending, because it's hard to bend those heavier strings, I'll just slide. That's an easy bend on an electric, but on acoustic it's a little bit harder, and it just kind of, it's just a different approach to playing that note. You don't always have to bend to it. One final thought. The five places that I just showed you, that five note pentatonic breakdown, from your root six, it happens twice in your root five. If you just knew 10 licks on the guitar and played them in all five places, 50 licks. That's why I call this approach 50 licks squared. All you gotta know is 10 licks. Just make up 10 licks like what I was just showing you. Experiment, play, play around with it. Um, don't be afraid. Now, a couple of things to think about. One, when it comes to playing lead, how do you turn these dots into lead? Well, you can put on well, you can just play them, but you can put on a metronome and But that can get really boring really fast. I think using a metronome with your finger exercises is a great idea. But your pentatonics, that's where you really want to start playing lead. So to find rhythm tracks that you like to play along with, you can just hit the rhythm track and just play through the scales. Find rhythm tracks that you like and practice your pentatonics to those rhythm tracks. Now, you can play them one note at a time, very slow, until you can build up to. Learn how to expand these so you can play with your first and third finger. So you cover more territory, you use your two strongest fingers. It's my dog, Moonshine. <laughs> What's going on, little guy? What do you need? He's a black dog <laughs> with a black background. Mm. So find rhythm tracks you like to play along with. Hit play. Play your basic and expanded version. And then begin to breathe life into it. That's what we're gonna talk about in the next video. This video and anything in the channel, if you wanna go deeper, please be sure to check out my True Fire channel. For me, that's like my Patreon channel. And please be sure and subscribe and hit the like button. And if you want alerts, be sure and ring the bell, okay? See you in the next video.